I don't know what the other hand is doing. It was one hand holding a blade. Yeah, one hand's holding the blade. They go. They have the blade fight. And what what was what's, what's what's your other hand doing? That's that's how they fight. That's the fighting stance, if I oh. remember correctly. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's the hand, the blade up here. Yeah. Yeah, you could tell by that uh, rollicking intro. This is a reaction for the new Dune trailer. Woo! Dune part two. Yep. Dune. One, of, one, one of us is super excited. One of us is like, all right, we'll see what this is. I'll let you guess which one is which. Doom! Yeah, exactly. That is Leroy and Michael. This is uh, We Trying, a Nerdy by Nature production. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. man. I mean, when does this movie come out? November? Yeah. I will okay. see this in IMAX. I missed the first time. I had to watch it at home. Mm-hmm. IMAX for this one. IMAX for this one. Uh, yeah. Like, what are, you, what are you expecting out of this trailer? Uh, more of a story. The, okay. the first one was a teaser, just kind of gave us a mood and like gave us, we didn't see the emperor. We did get to see fade, uh, Austin Butler. That's his name. The guy who played Elvis. Mm-hmm. Is that his name? Mm-hmm. Uh, I got it up right here. Dummy. Yeah, that, that's it. Um, yeah, I just, uh, uh, so we saw the princess played by Florence Pugh, uh, princess or Ur- Orland. We did not see emperor Shadow. Shadow which is Christopher Walker. We got to see Lady Margot. We did not see, uh, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going through all the people we didn't see in the trailer that, I th- in the teaser that I think we're gonna see the trailer. We're gonna get more of a storyline. All right. So in the story of two, we're gonna see more of the machinations, uh, more of the Game of Thronesy type stuff that's gonna get us to this confrontation between the Fremen and the Harkonnens with the Emperor. Because remember, House Atreides went to Arrakis, set up, they were stabbed in the back, sold out. Literally and physically. <laughs> Literally and physically. Uh, we lost um, former Zaddy, Oscar Isaac, being replaced by Pedro Pascal as the new Zaddy, as everybody has uh, established. Uh, Duke Atreides was killed, his son in exile taken in by the Fremen, and now we're going to see what happens after this guerrilla warfare campaign that stops spice production, that causes the emperor to take notice. Okay. Because he's like, hey, man, I gave you all a solid. What What is going on? So mm-hmm. that's what I think we're going to see more of that in this, in this trailer. All right, let's find out. Let's get to it. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. This world is beyond cruelty. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. My family's been fighting them for centuries. They were massacred alongside my father. My father didn't believe in revenge. We believe in Fremen. Let me fight beside you. Reload! He said that. I got that. <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> I won't be fighting for him. I'm fighting for my people. You young pop. Gurney. Do you believe in Paul? There are signs. Why is that a bad thing? Use it. Because all my visions lead to horror. Because you lose control. Because I gain it. Johnny, do you believe in me? Paul Atreides is still alive. Deal with this prophet. Feed Shamiliar. Ooh! Oh. Your father. Was a weak man. Look who's back from the dead. Now do what must be done. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! Daddy! I will love you as 
long as I breathe. This prophecy is how they enslave us! It's not a prophecy. It's a story. I don't care what you believe. I believe. That's the Matrix right there. I am Paul Mordeva Trades! Duke of Arrakis! He who can destroy a thing has the real control of it. Is that everything you wanted? Yes. Okay. Um, said your father was a weak man. He did. That's fighting's words. That's the most disrespect. Not only did you kill his dad, you was talking about he was a weak man. That's some disrespectful shit, man. <laughs> um, I liked Javier Bardem with the phrase, I don't care if you believe, I believe. Mm -hmm. Reminded me of Morpheus talking about that in The Matrix. Like, my beliefs do not need you to believe because I can believe. Um, But I'm interested in this for sure. It seems like, man, this is going to be a long ass movie. And I guess the first one was what two hours and some change. So I guess we got another two hour and change movie. Uh, uh, so are there are there going to be more, or is this like it? So I know there's. I know they wanted to do. I know they want to do more. Or at and least this wraps up a story, right? This wraps up the first arc. Okay. They also want to tell other stories in this world. So mm -hmm. the Quizex Hatterax, which is uh, Reverend Mother. Charlotte Rampling, who plays the Reverend Mother, who also had Lady Jessica, was a part of that. They're not a cult. They were an organization. Think of them like space nuns mm -hmm. um, that basically are paired with... Can beat the shit out of people. Well, not just that, but they also are... Um, betrothed to other people they they produce heirs they control they're like a shadow government to so to speak um love a good shadow government so i don't want to say like a shadow organization i don't want to say government because they 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 report to nobody but themselves and they control a lot that goes on within the galaxy um you, there, there is a. There were two playing HBO Max series now. Max, I don't know if the two are still in production. I know one of them is, and we they lost one of the one of the showrunners left, and uh -huh. moved on to the movie. If I remember correctly, like could be it could be uh, vice versa, but the show had some problems. That the goal is is that they continue the universe with the show and the show's more game of thronesy with you have different players the different machinations that the quizx hatteracks and you see basically the royal intrigue of what happens in the actual world behind the movie so to speak so in other words the movie is like the grand the grand spectacle how this story and how this universe works but the show is basically like this is the real power behind everything um I am, this cast is amazing. When you look at everybody who's casted in this movie, I mean, maybe Leonardo DiCaprio's movie with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert De Niro and Scorsese might have a cast as, that's up there with this one. But I mean, when you look at the cast of this, this is amazing. I mean, from Academy Award nominees to Marvel people from stage to, I mean, you got Stellan Skarsgård, Harvey and Bardem, Charlotte Ramp Rampling, Christopher Walken, Lisa Doe, uh, Dave Bautista, Florence Pugh, Zendaya, Tim. I mean, you, the list goes on. And that's just the headliners. Uh -huh. So, I mean, you're going to get an acting tour de force in this movie combined with some of the best visual effects. This is going, this is a tentpole movie. This is a movie that you see at the theater. This it's is interesting that you say it's a tentpole because I would agree with you, or I do agree with you, but it's interesting that they didn't like 
release it in the summer. So, well, see, I think I think this isn't a summer movie. I think I think summer movies has a room for. This is a very intelligent movie. So it's, I think it's released in the fall because that's like the beginning of Oscar season. And uh -huh. this is the end and the fall is the end of the summer season. And you have one big tentpole intelligent movie that's made for people who want to see cinema. Oppenheimer. This is the other one. Barbie. If, if, for some people, it will be Barbie. Uh, Greta Gerwig. Coming out on the same day. Yeah, yeah. Greta Gerwig's um, the, the Oppenheimer Barbie reminds me of when Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal was released on the same day. Mm -hmm. Everybody was like, Doom Eternal's the better game. Well, Animal Crossing sold twice double what <laughs> Doom Eternal did. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I say that to say this is the temple and this and stuff. This is, this is that movie that uh you're not putting up a so expected november the third um you're right i think that this is probably going to be close to three hours i'm looking on imdb and i'm not seeing it at time that's so long what three hours but i mean if i mean if you're into it you're into it right as long as i guess the biggest thing is as long as it doesn't feel like three hours yeah and i mean at the end of the day, there's been a lot of movies that have clocked in almost three hours. That's, I mean, honestly, that's the new thing right now, to making your movies almost three hours. Um, Black Panther 2, well, Wakanda Forever, that was another long one. Um, okay. I think Oppenheimer is over to uh, um, your movie, uh, Avatar. Wasn't that almost three hours? I mean, I wouldn't call it my movie. I just said I liked it, but uh, mm, I believe you I, financed it. Okay, it. <laughs> sir. If I financed it, we would be doing better than where we are. <laughs> Please believe. Uh, so, One Kind of Forever was two hours and forty-one minutes. Um, okay. So it's not it's not impossible for these movies. It's just it is the new thing where these huge movies, because you got to think about it, these budgets. They're not, they're not spending two hundred million dollars for this movie to be ninety minutes. Does that make sense? Sure. Like that. Like sure. because I mean, I don't want to see it. Uh, so yeah, Way of the Water was three hours and twelve minutes. Okay. Now I don't want to see it, but there's a report. David, uh, um, no, Andy, Andy Muschietti said there's a four hour cut of Flash, or four yeah, or five hour cut of Flash. Let's, let's not do that. Now I don't want to see that, but I mean, it's there. That's just too much. Uh, so was there anything left you need to see in another trailer? Or are you like, you're good? I mean, I, to be fair, I guess you were good from the, the jump, right? Yeah, I was. So I didn't. Here's one of those movies where I didn't need to see another teaser or trailer. Mm -hmm. I was going to see this regardless. Um, I own this film. Uh, the first one. Um, I didn't need to see another one because a lot of times trailers will tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. You'll see all the action pieces. But in, in this type of movie, Denny does a good job of the, they did not show a lot of the action pieces. They just showed a lot of the, they gave you a tone. So think of a movie like Fast X. If you go back and watch that trailer, spoiler alert for Fast X, I'm not going to tell any plot points, but if you watch the trailer for Fast X, just like with Hobbs and Shaw, you saw the movie. You didn't get all the beats, but you saw the movie. And with these trailers, Avatar, um, I don't know because I haven't seen Avatar, Way of Water, but it's three hours. So a two-minute trailer isn't going to tell you everything in a, mm -hmm. almost a three-hour movie. And the same thing with this one. I don't think it's going to tell the whole movie because a lot of Dune deals with the fact of, and I call them white Jesus, Frank Herbert, when he wrote this book, basically talked about the white savior but also what happens and what does that do on a person who realizes that they could be the ultimate supreme being so to speak and the weight that that carries on it but also maybe you don't want the power you know maybe you don't want to assume that responsibility but then you also realize you kind of have to so that do du that duality that duality of do i or do i not you can't get you can't 
give that away in two two and a half minutes or three minutes, however long this trailer was. Sure. So sure. I think that's the one thing that this I don't need to see more. I think that they did a very good job of giving you this is the kind of movie it is. Do you want to see it or not? It has some great pretty people. They're in the desert. The scenery really doesn't matter. They're gonna do a lot of killing and fucking each other up. Do you want to see that? <laughs> Way to end this uh reaction. Fantastic. Do you want to see that? Uh let us know, like, comment, subscribe. Leroy will get his knife out and some blue eyes, I guess. I don't know. I can't uh, do contacts. And this is my son's uh, fruit knife for his, uh, for their toys. So you put them together like this. What is this, Fruit Ninja? It's kind of like Fruit Ninja, but it's like okay. they have Velcro in the middle. And they, and uh, just, yeah. Okay. So fantastic. it teaches them how to cut fruit okay. and vegetables. Wonderful. Um, if y'all want to help support us so Leroy can get more toys like that for his kids. And for me, because. And, and for him. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. You know where to find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. We trying. We trying y'all. All those places. Uh, until next time, we're out. Peace. Deuces.